So I saw a lot of uh, pen test, pen list, top five, top ten on the internet, and uh, but I think these three pens are the competitors for the best pen for Node Air. So this one, the one that comes with it, is already very good. So it's a high bar, and this one is uh, from Stedler. It's also very good, and I've got this one, the Lamy pen. Recently, it's a metal construction Lamy All Star. So let me show you another pen I have here, the Lamy Safari Fountain Pen. So yeah, I've been using this for years, and uh, I like it very much. This one looks exactly not exactly the same, but uh, very similar. I, sh I think if I have a all-star of this version, this should look exactly the same. So let's have a look at it. So let me show you the difference. So this one is a pen, only has a tip, has no eraser, and has no pen cap. This one has a tip, has an eraser, no pen cap. This one, pen, eraser, pen cap. So yeah, there is a progression of the functionality. And this one looks definitely the best. Uh, this one is very, you know, have different personal opinions on it. Someone think it's cute. I think it's uh, silly cute, but uh, it's okay. But someone definitely thought this is ugly. And uh, this one looks uh, I don't know, pretty generic, but uh, not bad. Uh, I would say this magnet function is really poorly designed. Yeah, but uh, other pens doesn't have that. Okay, so let's have a go. I would say this three pen writes quite differently. As I said in the previous review of this pen, this one, you feel this tip is very hard, very rigid. So its touch to the surface is very clear, okay? And this one, you definitely feel a softer touch. And this one, unlike the review before I have this on my hand, I thought this one would be a pretty, you know, rounded nib, and but actually it is the finest. It has a finer natural without changing the setting. This is, of course, if you push hard, you can write, you know, thick lines, but uh, if you write just naturally, it ha actually has the finest. This one has the most traction across the surface. Let's also include this one, this little black pen. I would say this one has the softest pen tip and has the most traction. And um, in terms of the writing position comfort, this one is not the best for me because this is too thin for my hand and uh, not very excellently weighted is plastic this one almost perfect a very comfortable tried and true design and uh yeah let's have a test of the eraser so you can only use this knuckle you don't need to change your posi holding position you can just click here mm. so this one is uh for those of you who are familiar with writing and change back to this one doesn't have any this one, wow, in terms of functionality, th actually this simple pen has the best. So you can either erase like this or this. Yeah, so it's a pretty interesting matchup. So this one has the least functionality, has the hardest tip. This one has a one eraser. This one has one eraser in the front, this one in the back and has a hard pen cap, very easy to carry around, look excellent. And this one, although very thin, 
very not very good a weighted well but has two erasers i don't know if you can remap this to other functionalities so yeah and uh i believe this one comes with some replacement nibs and a replacement tool this one too has two replacement nibs this one also came with five replacement nibs but this one i don't think i don't think i have it if i have it i may have lost it already but if you put pull out this you will see this nib is different from the shapes of others so since i feel it is really hard is it possible that this one is made of some different material that uh, just don't wear off and you don't need replacement i don't know i don't have you know details of what material those are made of i can definitely just from a visual test that this one during my limited use already has some wear on it the shape has already changed a little bit i don't know if i use it more after it will it become a you know will it write differently i don't know mm, this one looks exactly the same i haven't used it very much this one is my main uh, stylus for the last couple of days this one looks very thick it has let me show you so this is the box it says it is for glossy surfaces and has a round nib. Probably, Lamy also have their replacement nibs for different, you know, configuration. Pro probably they have sharper nibs, but this is a rounded nib. But it is already a very fine nib. You don't worry. You don't need to worry about it. It's too thick or something, and it's for glossy surfaces. And this is a glossy surface, so it works really nice. So lastly, I want to talk something about the pricing. So obviously these two are coming with, come in the box with the devices. You can buy them separately. I don't know, probably they'll charge you $30, $40. I don't know. This one is uh, 30 something, depending on where you are. And uh, if you have free shipping or something, probably I set you back $40. This one, I bought it from a company called Pen Boutique. And uh, they, they listed for 63 or 62, something like that. But they have a new user coupon, $5 off. So I got this for 58 and they ship pretty fast. And I got it, mm, I don't know, within five days, probably. And uh, yeah, so this is 50 something close to 60. This is 30 something close to 40. These two are 30 to 40 something. So yeah, what do you think? Uh, if I have to choose, I only have one pen, uh, probably I'll just keep the original. Yeah. And if I have to, if I want to upgrade, maybe I'll buy this one now. So this one also works really nice, but uh, it's pretty funny looking, honestly, to me. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, let me, as a brand I use and love, so I have many trust in them. And uh, it seems to be a high quality product made in Germany, designed in Germany. So yeah, let's see if I have it. Okay, so yeah, this is a replacement nib. It actually has Germany on it and Lamy logo on it. And those are the nibs. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is a, yeah, this is an unboxing. There's nothing to box anything. I saw on Amazon, there was a Safari a model of this pen, whole plastic, black plastic. Uh, I didn't buy it. And um, the price is similar to this one. And I think why, why not buy it? All star and uh, yeah I don't know I, I saw a review from the uh, good ereader.com and they review the uh, Safari level a Safari plastic pen on their website 
I don't think they they have a very critical difference. Only this one is metal. I think it's metal, and uh, yeah. And I try to replace this two, and it doesn't work. They could I could put the fountain pen in here, but I couldn't uh, have the pen pen cap working. So they are not exactly uh, replaceable. So here are some close up look to the Lamy All Star EMR pen. So here is a directly visual comparison of the four pen tips. So here is the actual look of the pen tips. Get out of the pen. I'll try to focus. So this one is the Max 3 pen. Pen tip. This is extra nibs. Has nibs and the replacement tool. This one is no there. Look how different it is. So the this part has a different shape, so making it different from others. And also the tip. So previous this one has a more like round, this one too, the lamy one on the right. This one is sharper. And the replacement tools like I, I have to use this replacement tool to get the Stadler pen out, and I can use this replacement tool to get Lamy and this one out. And uh, I forget this one, I think you can use either one. And uh, they are quite different. And I, if I remember correct, this one is not interchangeable with each other, if you put it in another one. So this one looks very thick, however it rise not as thick as it looks. So this one looks thin and um, it writes okay. So I heard, I saw different people like uh, advocating use this pen body with a, re a remarkable pen tip. I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't know if this works, this, uh, this one works in this pen tip, uh, pen body, I'll try now. So I've got the Lamy pen with the Max 3 pen tip. It installed with no problem. Let's see. So let's focus. Uh, first feeling it works. So let me try to look at the... I think it works flawlessly. I think it works pretty well. So now I have two from the Lamy and uh, five from the Max 3 pen. So they are usable. They are, maybe they are the Wacom, you know, pen tips, regular, just regular pen tips. I don't know. Is it different? Uh, so this is what I wrote with the Lamy pen tip. This is what I wrote with the MX3 pen tip. If, I don't know. Not feeling so different. And uh, if I have further, you know, testing, I'll let you know. They are pretty interchangeable to me for now. So, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.